countries which have brought in their own restrictions on Russia over the crisis in Ukraine. Let's get the uh, latest details on this now from your RT Jagor Piskanov, who joins us. Um, we saw last week, Yegor, the, uh, the sanctions that were brought in, fresh ones from Brussels and Washington against Russia. Russia's responding now. Just bring us uh, the details. Well, the president has signed a decree which either bans or limits importing products from uh, countries which have been taking part in sanctioning Russia over its policies uh, on Ukraine. This means products from the U.S. and Canada, EU member states, uh, Japan and Australia. Now, uh, the sanctions will affect uh, farming goods, uh, raw materials and food. There's no precise or specific list of products yet. We do know that the government has already started putting it together. We've also heard from Russia's Retailers Association who uh, predict that, uh, well, these sanctions, the Russian sanctions, won't affect the average Russian consumer, uh, but um, will affect more the luxury end of uh, the market. And uh, the limitations are expected to last for about a year, but it does say on the Kremlin's website that uh, this time span may be revised. Now, it is viewed here as Moscow's response to the sets of international sanctions which have been targeting the Russian uh, economy. For instance, uh, last week we saw perhaps uh, so far the most powerful set of sanctions which target whole sectors of the Russian economy. Uh, several companies have already felt their effect. In fact, some uh, Russian companies had to temporarily suspend their operation altogether. Right. But not only in Russia, uh, their Western the uh, partners have also felt the effect Malaysia, of uh, these Australia, limitations as well. In fact, recently, world, uh, Britain's so largest uh, labor sure. union has called on its government not to take part in sanctioning Russia, saying that uh, they don't only affect Russian companies, but British firms as well. OK, as we said, these, uh, these sanctions details have just come in. I'm sure we'll be analysing them more in uh, more detail as uh, the time passes. Thanks, though, for bringing us the latest. Shigor Piskanov.